This is an install video for the latest version of Wicked AI. I just updated this so that the Epoch version and the Overpoch version are combined. That makes it easier on me to update these damn files. I don't have to do two uh, repos, I just have to do one. I'll show you what uh, changes were made. It's pretty basic, but you're going to download these files. I'll have a link in the description for this. And you download here. And then go down to the install instructions. You know, put that over there. Extract your download. Everything you need is in here. You need to open up your servers folder. And we're going to do edits in the server PBO first. Now the install for Epoch and Overpoch is the exact same. There is no difference in the install. Um, you'll notice there's a few extra files in the Epoch or in the, in the Overpoch install. I'll show you that. But go to your server PBO, extract it, open up the DAISY server folder and then go to system and server monitor and you want to follow the instructions here. Find this, find this line here. Allow connection equals true. And install this, or paste this rather, above it. That starts the Wicked AI. Save that, close it, and then go to back up and go to the init folder and you want to open this mission check I'm gonna keep I'm gonna make this kind of a standard feature this is a very important file because it checks uh, mission override exploit it puts the files in there that are executable so that uh, that exploit cannot be used if it's checking these files against it checks the downloaded client side to the server copy of the mission folder you need to add these in there. I have a comma out front. You can see I have a lot. It says find this and there's only a few files. That's for the default install. I have Epoch admin tools in here, so I have a lot of files. But um, you want to put them on the ends. That's why I have the comma out front. So the last one on the list does not have a comma. But they should all be inside these brackets. Okay, that's good. Save that. Close it, and you need to copy the Wicked AI folder over to the um, server PBO. So grab this and copy it. Okay, I'm gonna leave this un PBO'd. You need to back these up, by the way. That should be said right away. Um, if you, you I extracted this PBO, this one should go into your backups, right? So if you screw up the install, you can go back and reload your old PBOs and try again. Let's go to the mission and extract your mission PBO. Open it up and you need to go to init.sqf. Edit that. It says repack your mission PBO, but I'm going to show you some of the configs in there at the end. So you can do that right away if you want. It works out of box. You don't have to change anything init.sqf find this line and you're going to paste this right above it if you already have ZSC installed it uses this as well I don't know if any other mods use it but it will already be in there you will already see this line if that's the case just skip that step all you need is that one it this has been wicked AI I made it compatible with ZSC so a lot of the files are the same on the mission side. So save that, close it, and then go to description.ext. And again, if you have ZSE installed, you will see this. If you have ZSE installed, you will see that. You need to overwrite it with this. If you don't have ZSE, then find this line here. Right, it says that. And you need to paste it above it. So I just 
put my cursor there, hit enter a couple times, go up one, so I got some white space in there. Copy this whole works here. Make sure you get the right one too, because this has the um, auto claim message sound. Okay, and the radio has to be installed to uh, hear that message as well. Just like that, save it, close it. Mission.sqm, you want to verify that you have this. All right, if, you, if you're using uh, Epoch, this will not be in there. This Overpoch has it. If you, if you copy this, do a control F and find, you can see that it's there. If, you, if you're using Epoch and you don't have that, just check and see, then you would paste it like somewhere here, like it says in the instructions. You just need to have that in there, otherwise you get errors. So just verify that it's there. Close that, or save it and close it. And then you need to copy um, these files over. So when you have Overpock installed, if you did my install video, you'll see that the DAISY code folder is here and it has a configs folder with the custom loot and the custom traders. If you have Epoch, that won't be in there, so you'll just copy the whole thing over. If you have ZSC installed, this will be here. So open this daisy code up, open this daisy code up, and you see there's a compile folder with this remote messages. This is the same one that's in ZSC, but it has this add-on here. So overwrite the one you have from ZSC with this one. It's the same file, just with a mod. So I don't have a compiles folder, so I'm going to copy that over. And then I don't have a scripts folder, so I'm going to copy that over. This is the radio. This ZSC has the same thing, and it has this one. This just additional files. Make sure the files are in there. If you already have it, make sure you have these other two files. And that's all you have to do. And you need a string table. If you have Southern string tables, I think some of them are renamed. This one isn't, but you just add them in. Um add these in with the other ones you just merge them which is fair enough that's easy enough to do that's all you have to copy over there's some extra options in here to use extra RC to turn the radio on and off so it doesn't show you the mission announcements or you don't get the little radio sound uh, the download is here and then the install instructions are here if you want to use that. I don't use it. I, I, I don't see the point in turning the radio on and off. I mean, some people would, I guess, but I don't. But the install instructions are straightforward. I'm not going to install it on this. Um, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, deploy anything. If you have that installed, you can use click actions to turn your radio on and off. Uh, if you're not using that, you can use this. That's just an option again. I don't go to the install for that because I'm not installing that. Uh, if you already have it installed, you just add this to your DZE click actions array. Straightforward. Um, battle eye. So this is done so we can pack this back up. Make sure you back up your good PBO. And then pack this one up. Whoop, that's an IFA. Need to pack it into a PBO. Delete that. Okay, so go to um, if it, the 1062 installs has changed, so your battle eye is going to be root of C and it'd be in one of these config folders. This one is the, the overpock one. Open up your battle eye folder, go to scripts.txt. All of these are in scripts.txt. So line 17. It, it, these are the stock. Im, these are the stock uh, battle eye filters from 1062. By the way, if you're using alternate ones, just look for the one that says compile. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. I know Infostar has their own that are pretty piss poor, but these 1062 ones are pretty aggressive. So you'll copy that line. Make sure you're on line 17 with the keyword compile. It says that right here. Keyword compile. Hit the end key, hit a space, paste it. Then go down to line 38. So I, I usually hit the home key and then just scroll down. 
Line 38 should be keyword hint. Right, keyword hint, copy this line. Paste that in there at the end, and then hit the home key, and go down to line 72, which should be keyword system chat. Copy this line. All right, hit the end key, space, paste it, and you're done with battle eye. I don't know if these extra RC and stuff has extra battle eye filters. I can't remember, but this is your, your install is complete. Let's go to the close that and go back to the server PBO real quick. And we'll open up the Wicked AI folder. Go to config.sqf. Everything is configured in here. Uh, if you want to use my static spawn points option, you would turn that to true. Uh, that is just a list of your own defined spawn points rather than using the dynamic system which is pretty inefficient in my opinion you can define your own spawn points I put an array in here that has 205 spawn points to choose from and it spreads out the missions on the map but if you know how to make um, XYZ coordinates with uh, some kind of an admin tool or the editor you can add your own you see that Lingor doesn't have any, but it's X, Y, Z coordinates in an array with a comma behind each one except for the last one. But you can build your own and paste them in there or use the ones that are stock here. Some I got these off the forum except for the Shinaris ones, which I made. Um, show AI remaining shows you the... Uh, in the mission markers, it'll show you how many AI are in the mission. Uh, has money, that's FZSC installed. Uh, the rest of these, you just go through. Some of them are configurable, some of them are not. This is the um, combination of overpock and epoch is just the weapon arrays. So if it's overpock, this automatically detects overpock that's in the init file. Right, it detects if it that you know Chaytac is present. If 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 that's present, then it's obviously got the Overwatch mod installed, so it just sets that variable to true, and it loads these arrays of Overwatch weapons. And if it's not, then it just over it it, it loads the Epoch weapons regardless. But that's just if it's over pocket loads those and then it changes the random variable the random weapon array uh, over pock obviously has a bigger list and you don't have to do anything to these if you don't want certain weapons to spawn on AI or in your crates you can remove these these are just in here by default this is the complete list you can customize them this random uh, AI weapon random is where Pretty much all the AI and the crate spawning happens. You can you can specify certain things. That's cool. But uh, the skins I updated to the ones there at the traders. All, uh, I added a lot more hero skins recently. Everything else is pretty much just uh, if you want missions to spawn quicker, you adjust these times and seconds. You want to uh, time out quicker. Timeout distance, that's player to mission distance. Uh, void players is a new one that Saliva added. That's if there's a if there's a player present, uh, it won't spawn a mission there because you don't want a uh, mission to spawn on top of players. That's in both the uh, dynamic spawner and the static spawn point. Here, there's two new options for the mission vehicle keys. Okay, you can do you just replace this string with one of these you got no vehicle key let me actually maximize no vehicle key or you can put the vehicle key in the crate when the mission completes you can put the key in the vehicle's gear the, the, the mission vehicle will be unlocked and the key will be in the gear or you can put the key on the AI still so just a couple more options also mission uh, announcements I added dynamic text so you can use the radio or dynamic text or the title text is the one that you can use without having any 
client side files it just puts that white message across the middle of the screen the dynamic text is pretty cool though so I put that as a default but you can change it just change the string value if you don't like dynamic text you want to use title text you just uh, you know double click on this control C double click here control V and just change it that's all you have to do and it will change the message delivery otherwise everything is straightforward and none of this the other stuff has changed it's all been pre-configured so no I don't want to save I'm trying to think of something else. This is where you turn on iBen's uh, auto claim. You just turn this sucker to true. There's some other configs in here. He had a thread. There was a thread in the uh, right here. You click on this link. It will tell. He's got a thread on how to use this. Otherwise, let's see. That's pretty much it. If you want to adjust your one thing that people ask very often. How do you adjust how much loot is in the crate? And you go to, into missions, go into each individual mission, and at the bottom you will see uh, where it calls dynamic crate. Okay, each one of these numbers, uh, this is long guns, this is tool belt items, the five. Fifteen is like regular magazine items, like random shit like food and building supplies and crap. Three is the pistols, and two is backpacks. Really, a, a backpack should all be one because the crates only uh, hold one. You can, if you know what you're doing, you can add extra AI. You know, may, build your own missions, that kind of shit, if you want. Um, the ones with ve mission vehicles, you will see this vehicle thing here, where it sends it to the crate. The key to the crate if that's an option don't mess with that leave that alone uh, you just adjust these numbers you can see zero zero this is one with a armed vehicle with the chain bullets in there you can call a custom array if you want just like this um, by default it will just install you know that it has the, the regular stuff but you can like the IKEA convoy has all buildable stuff in there you can see here you can call a custom array that's in config.sqf just like this. Just make sure that's the same stuff. Weapons have to be weapons, tools, uh, items, because if you don't, that will mess up. So just change the numbers, in my opinion. That will, like, if you want uh, more items, like more buildable items, you can adjust this number up, okay? That's about it. Uh, that's the install complete. I'm not going to fire it up because it takes a while for a mission to spawn. But that's the complete install. You just want to repack this PBO. You should be able to fire up your server and run this and it will work. Okay. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video.